Hello, and welcome to our information session today. We're excited to share information with you on our apprenticeship programs and our approach to launching your career in cybersecurity. Let's get started. Here's a brief overview of what we'll cover today. Um, we're actually gonna start by talking a little bit about the cybersecurity industry outlook and why you might wanna consider a career in cybersecurity. We'll of course talk about Class LLC, who we are, what we do, and the focus of the presentation today is on our programs, the foundations program as well as the apprenticeship program. We'll conclude by sharing our contact information and what the next steps are. And we'll of course leave some time at the end for Q&A. We have an hour block for the presentation, but I don't imagine we'll take nearly that much time um, and we'll be able to get you kind of back, at, back out into your day as soon as we can. So let's start with why you just might want to consider this career path. There are half a million unfilled cybersecurity positions right now, and that's just in the US. Over the next decade, the projected growth in employment is 32%. And for broader context, the predicted growth across all industries is 5%. So cybersecurity is a rapidly growing industry and the COVID-19 pandemic is only going to increase the demand for skilled technical workers. According to Glassdoor, the national average for entry-level positions, that's less than a year of experience, is 65,000. This is for an information security or a cybersecurity analyst. A more technical role, like a security engineer, commands an average starting salary of closer to 80,000. Now, if you pay attention to the news at all, you're no stranger to the numerous breaches and attacks by nation states. Bad actors threaten our national security, our economy, a career in cybersecurity is actually a really unique opportunity to do good and do well. And finally, talk about a rapidly evolving industry. New technology and new threats mean you won't get bored. Um, this is also why it's important to always be learning. And we'll talk in a bit about how to think about your future training path beyond this program. This is a resource I like to share with job seekers or anyone considering a career in the field. You can see that this highlights the half a million job openings in the US. And when you visit this page, you can drill down by state to get a better assessment of your particular area of the country. While keeping in mind that cybersecurity allows for many remote positions. So when looking for a job, you don't have to be as narrow as your own city or state. So now that I have your attention, um, if, if you weren't already thinking about this field, you know, the next question is why entrust us with your future? And here are a couple of reasons. Um, first, because of the breadth of our offerings, we're uniquely positioned to offer programs that go beyond a traditional learning approach. We want you to think of this as the beginning of your relationship with us. Class is built of three core elements. We develop security programs that help organizations achieve their business goals while managing cyber risks at an acceptable level. Then there's, of course, the training and workforce development, which goes beyond just this program we're talking about today. And finally, Class LLC delivers world-class cybersecurity conferences and executive events that bring business, tech, and security leaders together to promote strategic thinking in cybersecurity. Here's the second reason. Keon is the heart of everything we do. He's a natural leader and coach and cares deeply about his, secure, his, about his students and mentees. He's an army veteran, an MBA, and a professor. He's the former director of information security for the CDC. And he founded Class LLC back in 2014 to continue his work in security and risk management while also building out a formal program to enable others to successfully join the field. Kian's on the call with us today and will help field any Q&A at the end. So what are we hearing from others in the industry, from up and coming leaders, as well as established practitioners? It's that the traditional model is broken. Uh, Cody here is a former student of Kian's and remarked that kind of what he sees in our apprenticeship program mirrors the best parts of his grad program. Looking at employer perspectives, you know, we know that people come to cybersecurity from a number of backgrounds. 
there is not one traditional approach to a career in cybersecurity. So based on our collective industry experience and on input from many others, we've developed what we think is a pretty unique approach. There's not one silver bullet to help you get your foot in the door in this industry, which is what led us to develop what we call the cornerstones of our programs. We believe that it's only the combination of these four areas um, that, will, that will allow you to be truly prepared to get started and advanced within the industry. So how do we translate these elements into a program? We're talking today about two different programs, all under the umbrella of cybersecurity apprenticeship. We're gonna spend most of our time talking about the foundations program, but I do want to at least introduce the apprenticeship program, um, and that will actually launch in early 2021. You know, as, as it's sort of described by its name, this program is paid on the job training as well as continued learning and certification prep. Um, it's a program that you apply to, you know, we don't accept everyone, so it's a hard thing to get into. And the foundations program that we're talking about today is a really great way to prepare for an apprenticeship. We actually thought about calling this program Cybersecurity Career Foundations because it really is that as well. Um, by going through sort of a number of online modules paired with you know, live group work and instructor-led review of the content with our subject matter experts, we're really working to kind of cover all your bases moving into the field. If you think back to our four cornerstones, there's the education and certification component. And here you'll actually go through prep um, to be able to take the Security Plus certification exam. There's the experience. So a lot of what you'll do in the group work is project-based work. Um, actually kind of hands-on taking what you've learned from the modules and applying it to a task together. There's networking. So again, that group network, um, you know, getting to know the others within your cohort is the start of your sort of industry network connections. And finally, mentoring. Um, a really strong part of this program is the coaching we provide. Students actually go through a cybersecurity skills assessment and develop a career roadmap. You'll have one-on-one -on -one career coaching with our, one of our subject matter experts or with a career coach. So we sort of cover all the bases within this one approach. Um, and again, it's both sort of online and self-paced as well as these live weekly sessions to keep you engaged. A good question is, well, what are you actually going to learn? Um, we think about the content in this program as a 50-50 split to give you a foundation in the technical as well as a foundation in the governance side of cybersecurity. There are two important things to consider when evaluating whether or not this program is the right fit. The first one is this program takes time. Students can expect to spend five to ten hours each week in this program. And while the online modules are self-paced, students must be able to attend live sessions on Thursday and Friday afternoons. Now, there are no hard prerequisites for this program, but we strongly recommend that students have a basic working knowledge of hardware, software, networking, security, um, kind of IT basics. This isn't to say that you can't enroll otherwise, it just means that the estimated time spent will likely be on the higher end of the spectrum because you may have to take time sort of researching or learning some of the fundamental concepts that your peers in the cohort have already mastered. Um, and again, it's not to discourage you from, from enrolling, but just trying to set expectations up front that you may have to spend closer to that 10 hours a week to make sure you really understand the material. Now the foundations program is only the first building block. I mentioned earlier that the relationship with us, um, you know, is only just starting. And there's also the need in this industry for continual learning. And this is what we mean by that. You may take the foundations and apprenticeship program to get your career off the ground, 
but your journey with us doesn't have to end there. We offer advanced training in conjunction with a number of industry partners. So you can begin with foundations or with the apprenticeship and then continue learning with Class LLC throughout your career. I know your next question is likely, when can you get started? The great news is that we're enrolling now for a cohort that will begin on August 17th and in safely before the holiday period descends upon us. If August is too soon, we have a cohort beginning next January, so you can start the new year with us. Um, and what about next steps? We take a very personal approach to program recruitment. We'd like to speak with you one-on-one -on -one, um, to get a sense of exactly what your goals are and help you determine whether or not our program is a good fit. We encourage you to check out our website, class-llc.com, and send us an email to set up a time to speak with one of our recruitment advisors. You can also find us on LinkedIn and Facebook, and those are both good places to follow all of the things that Class LLC offers. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we appreciate your time. We know you've got a busy schedule, and so we appreciate you taking the time to learn more about our programs. And we look forward to speaking with you soon.